This is a drop dead amazing piece of concept art. I love everything about it. Where did it come from? Why did this drop at the D23 Disney Plus panel on Friday? Well, Andy Park gave us this little beauty today. He's a Marvel Studios concept artist, very active on Twitter. I'm sure you've, you've likely come across his tweets. Uh, and he had his own little panel today at D23. And uh, I, think his, I think his panels are going to be super crowded from now on if he keeps dropping beauties like this. He also gave out, um, I think it was a, a, I'm not sure if the Falcon and Winter Soldier poster came from him, but the Black Widow one did uh, today. Uh, again, I'm impressed that Kevin Feige would allow Andy Park to to drop this stuff they must really love working with him and respect him to give him um i think it's nice actually but i would love if all this stuff came out together so i could make a full wandavision video and if you want the details on uh that we learned about wandavision on friday uh there's a link down below uh in the comment section i'll pin it to the top uh where i go over what we learned but let's talk about this now it is super dick van dyke uh, which of course is the sitcom that was spliced into the footage that was apparently shown to the audience exclusively uh, at the panel on Friday, uh, especially Wanda's hairstyle. That is very Mary Tyler Moore. And Elizabeth Olsen actually has a little bit of a similar look to Mary Tyler Moore. But, you know, many people ask me this on Friday, and I've been thinking about it, and it's like, why, why Dick Van Dyke show? Why this sitcom? It's not the most iconic. And I looked it up because I was like, well, maybe Disney owns it. They don't own it. It aired on CBS, and I think it was Paramount's, right? So my guess is they picked this sitcom because it features the most balanced, healthy romantic relationship in a classic sitcom with not too many hijinks. Like I Love Lucy is all about Lucy's hijinks, right? Although I think Scarlet Witch is about to get in a lot of trouble. So maybe I Love Lucy would have been a good choice, but this is supposed to be her fantasy. And so she would imagine the better, more balanced, healthy relationship that was on display in the Dick Van Dyke show. They had their fights, but it was never anything serious. Uh, um, uh, it's, it's also, by the way, very reminiscent of the Vision comic, which, again, I, I, I'm going to recommend that you read. It's quite good. And you might also want to check out a few episodes of The Dick Van Dyke Show, considering just how on point this is. Uh, I love that Wanda, speaking of this being her fantasy, I love that she's focused on Vision. He's just like talking, he's all happy, and she's just so happy that he's happy. And that's really sweet, because again, this is her fantasy that she's escaping into. It's the ideal world that she wants to live in, and she's so happy to have created this for him. So I think that's really cool. She's like, I'll make up, make it up to you that I burned your, your head out, right? <laughs> he's like, this is a pretty good uh, makeup. Uh, I love that she's wearing uh, red, of course, which is reminiscent of her costume. And even his outfit seems to have the same colors as his suit, because I think that's a, I think that's a green sweater. Uh, but there is a fantastic ominous glow coming from the television, right? Maybe that's where the real world is in this inverse, right? They've, they've escaped into the TV. I think that's great. I wonder how she'll get the idea. Like, is Wanda really that familiar with the Dick Van Dyke show? Maybe she'll be watching it. It's very. Meg, uh, hello, Megan from uh, Young Justice, but you know, this looks really well done. So I'll forgive it. Uh, and then also, the, everyone loves this, the, and a, a cropped version made it out earlier today, but this is the wide version that Andy Park himself shared online. And you can see the both, the costumed real life versions of Vision and Wanda are in the corner. That's great. Uh, and of course, everyone is geeking out about the headpiece that you can clearly see on Wanda. You also seem to see a bit of a cape on her as well. I would love for her to finally upgrade her costume. No complaints about the costume she's been wearing so far. It's fine, but I really would like to see this. I would love to see her truly become the Scarlet Witch and to don the headpiece and the cape. I mean, it did wonders for Kate Blanchett's Hello, right? And I think it would do a lot to establish Wanda's self-confidence, but also that she sets herself apart from everyone else and plays by her own rules, right? She's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to glam it up. You know, I'm going to go all Anna Wintour here. Well, the rest of you, you know, this is more of a military choice, right? That's, that's the way the costumes usually go. Uh, I, I, I think Hello would actually be a really good example for how this should look. Oh, I'm so excited. So Scarlet Witch, indeed. I wonder how they'll work that into that's how she starts. That's the moniker that she takes on. Will she give it to herself? Will someone else give it to her? If someone else gives it to her, that's going to be a negative. So I hope she comes up with it herself. I think it's fabulous. This show can't get here soon enough. So what do you think? Gush down below. I'm sure nobody, you only could possibly have good things to say about this. Uh, share your thoughts down below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.